Hi everybody, and welcome back to another blog embedded video. Let's see what this week's superstar has for us. We recorded a few hours of the indicator reacting to price on the one minute chart, then we sped it up for analysis. This video was shot during the New York session. We'll pause the video here and there to make editorial comments pointing out features of interest. Don't forget to send us comments, suggestions, or ideas to the new indicator email address, which is stonehillindicator at gmail.com. Today we're going to put the modified version of this indicator on the chart, as explained in the blog. It'll be a zero cross from the original banded oscillator. I promised I would include the how-to portion of changing the indicator from the default view to our view, so let's get to it. The first thing we did was open the settings menu for the indicator and click on the color tab to change the colors of the indicator's lines. We made the bands disappear by changing the color from purple to none. Then we changed the color of the signal line from blue to red and thickened it up to four for easier viewing. You don't have to use red, you can use any color that works best for you. Next, click on the level menu. Note that the zero line is already there, but we'll need to color it. We chose yellow and thickened that up a bit as well. But, like the signal line, use whatever color works best on your chart. Once you've made the changes, click OK and your chart should be good to go. Let's get to the video and see what we can see. Let's start the video rolling at 30,000 times faster for a moment just to watch and see how the indicator moves with price action. We saw the long signal and as price continued to climb, the indicator remained above the zero line. Now we'll stop for a moment and take note of the short signal as the price crosses and closes below the zero line. Let's continue to see where this goes. Okay, we pause it again and notice that the signal line crossed and closed over the zero line. Look at the price. It didn't really go anywhere. This is an example of why you should never really rely on only one indicator. Notice that price is not really moving anywhere. So even though you got a long signal, make sure all of your other indicators are in agreement before pulling the trigger. Let's see what happens. Price went up nicely, and had we followed our algorithm, probably would have grabbed a fat handful of pips from the market. This indicator video is for educational purposes only, and in no way should be considered trading advice. You must conduct your own investigation for what works best in your world. But you already knew that, right? We hope you've enjoyed this short video. If you feel that this was helpful, please give us a 5-star rating on Trustpilot. Be sure you sign up for our digest as well. The form is on our website. You can also request the latest digest by sending an email to dan at stonehillforex.com with the title, Latest Digest, please, in the subject line. We will get it out to you within the first 24 hours. Don't forget, we're also on Facebook and YouTube. Stick around. Our only goal is to make you a better trader.